Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. Here's the situation. You may come home or your wife may come home. You go to push the remote in your car to open the garage door, or maybe you go up to the pad on there to open the garage door and the garage door won't open. So how do you open your garage door manually? Realistically, there's nothing you can do from outside. So you're gonna have to go into your house and go into your garage through the door through the house. Okay, there's a few reasons that your garage door may not open. The power may have went out. Maybe your garage door opener is broken. Maybe your remote's not working. Maybe you have a broken spring on your garage door. It could be one of those things. So what do you do if you wanna put your car in the garage and you can't, you can't get that door open. I'm gonna show you right now and it's not hard at all. So now that you're inside your garage, you wanna grab this rope. There's a, this rope is here is hanging for a reason. It's to unlatch the garage door mechanism here from the track. All you have to do is pull on it like this and then pull this way to open your door. Pull towards the motor. All right, so that unlatches the mechanism from up there, right? So you can pull that rope all the way towards the garage door opener and that door will open. But say you're short like me and you don't have the leverage to pull it all the way open. What you could do is pull it and just open it a little bit and make sure that it doesn't go back down. You could just leave it like that. Now you can reach down below and grab the bottom of the door and open it. All right, now you can bend down, just grab the bottom of the door here and open it this way. And there you go, your garage door is open. Now if you wanna close it, same thing. So now this, you just have to pull down, step on the bottom part, and it's probably gonna be latched. There you go. Then it gets latched, the door is shut. You can do it this way until you get your garage door opener fixed or until the power comes on, depending on what your problem is. If it's going to be a while before you get your garage door fixed, here's what I suggest that you do. I would suggest you get a ladder in your garage and go up there and unplug your garage door opener so that there's no electricity going to it. Of course, that is just a safety precaution. Now here's another situation that you could run into. Say your garage door is open fully and you can't close it. You push that remote and it just won't close your door. What do you do? I'm gonna show you. Okay, you wanna get that ladder in your garage again. You'll wanna unplug your garage door opener for safety. First thing you wanna do. Next, you'll wanna pull the rope again and unlatch it from the track. That way you can pull the door down. But wait, before you unlatch that rope, be careful that there is nothing under your door, no buddy or anything that you don't want broken or crushed like your car or anything like that because that door, if you got a broken spring, that garage door may come crashing down really hard on whatever is in the path of that door. And most importantly, you don't want to end up in a situation like this. It could cause a lot of injury, let me tell you. So there you go, that's how you open your garage door manually plus a little extra information if your garage door is already open and you can't get it closed. Always be careful. Maybe it's best to unplug your garage door opener for safety because it's probably gonna be a while before you get your garage door opener fixed, or maybe it's gonna be a while before the power comes on. If you wanna learn more about garage door openers, I have a playlist down below in the description. There's all kinds of links there to other videos that I have and the playlist where you can learn how to fix your garage door yourself and possibly save you a lot of money so that you don't have to call out a technician to come to your house and fix your garage door. If this video helped you, Hit that like button and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.